Good day everyone. Once again, welcome to my channel. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss reading and interpreting electric and water meter readings. In this lesson, we are going to learn about reading and interpreting electric and water meter consumption. You will also learn how to record, interpret, and write the electric and water meter reading. Kung handa na kayo, umpisahan na natin. Electricity is one of the most important forms of energy, which is made available in every home, office, school, and factory. It is measured by the watt hour when it passes through an electric meter. Because the watt is a small unit, we use the kilowatt hour to measure large quantity or quantities of electricity. The amount of electricity consumed is expressed in kilowatt hour, o yun tinatawag natin k W H. You will notice that there are five dials, and inside each dial is a pointer, which indicates the number to be read. So yun dials, eto yun limang bilog na inyong nakikita. Mula sa kanan, papuntang kaliwa, yun yun dials A to E. The pointers will alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise. Pag sinabi natin mga batang clockwise, kung Paano tumatakbo ang orasan, yun ang kanyang direction. So, yun ang sinasabi nating clockwise. Dito, alin ang clockwise? Eto, yung dial E, tapos dial C, and then dial A. Okay? And then, pag sinabing counterclockwise, edi yung opposite. Kaya naman itong dial D, eto yung CC. Ibig sabihin counterclockwise. So, as dial B. So, counterclockwise. The pointer of dial A, so pag sinabing pointer of dial A, ito. Okay, from the center, ito yung pointer. Okay, has to complete one revolution from zero, then back to zero before the pointer of dial A is equivalent to one point of dial B. Ibig sabihin lang ng mga bata, ang unang iikot dito sa meter ay yung dial A. At kapag nakompleto na niya yung one full rotation, okay, from zero, then babalik sa zero, saka pa lang iikot yung dial B, papunta ng one, and so on and so forth. Kaya nga, ang sabi dito, the same procedure follows for dial B and dial C. Then same goes for dial C and D, dials D and E. So, klaro sa atin, okay? In reading an electric meters, always read the dials from the right to the left, starting from dial A to dial E. So kanina, in-explain ng sir na di ba may limang dials mula sa kanan papunta sa kaliwa, doon nagsisimula yung dial A up to dial E. Then the second step is read the number by the pointer of the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. Ibig sabihin lang nun mga bata, ang ating ire-record palagi ay yung narid na nung pointer. Kaya naman, klaro dito na the lower number is recorded. Now, if the pointer appears to be exactly on a number, check the dial to the right to find out the correct reading. If the dial on the right has passed zero, then use the number the pointer is pointing to on the dial you are reading. But if the dial has not passed zero, then make use of the smaller number on the dial you are reading. And lastly, read the numbers from left to right. So, para mas maging klaro sa inyo, let us have a sample. Example, sabi natin kanina, from right to left ang ating pagsusulat ng reading. Okay? So, umpisahan natin sa dulo. If you look at your last dial here, ito yung dial A. Exactly, nakatapat siya sa 5. So, therefore, ang ating magiging reading dito is 5. Okay? And then, ito namang second dial or dial B, moving counterclockwise, is between 1 and 2. So, sabi natin kanina, if it is between two numbers, record the lower number. Kaya naman, ang reading nito ay 1. Next, we have dial C. Moving clockwise is between 4 and 5. So, ano magiging reading? Mas mababa ang 4 compared to 5. Kaya ang reading natin dito ay 4. Next, reading o dial D. 
if you look at the dial D, nakalampas na siya ng 7 actually. Okay? Going to 8. Pero, sabi nga natin, kung siya ay between numbers 7 and 8, still, ang reading natin dito is 7. And for dial E, it's between 0 and 1. Since ang direction nito ay clockwise, edi, ang magiging record natin dito, or reading, I mean, is 0. So, kapag binasa natin itong reading na to, it's 0, 7, 4, 1, 5. Kasi nga, sabi, isusulat natin yung reading from left to right. Pero pag binasa, from right to left. Parang ganon. Pag binasa mo yung dials, moving from right to left. Pero pag kailangan mo na yung exact reading, it's from left to right. Kaya naman, in this case, meron kang 7, 0, 7, 4, 1, 5 kilowatt hour. So, yun. Pwede natin ilagay dito na 0. Ito na siya. 0, 7, 4, 1, 5. And then, yung unit, sabi natin, is kilo, then watt, okay, hour. Tingnan nga natin yung second example. Umpisahan ulit natin sa dulo. If you look at your last, uh, first dial on, on, sa dulo, ha, sa kanan, it's between between 8 and 9 or almost at 8 or exactly at 8. If you notice, exactly siya sa 8. So, we can read this as 8. And then, next dial, dial B, is between 2 and 3. And since ang direction natin ay counterclockwise, so we will record the lower number. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 2. Next, we have dial C is between 1 and 2. Moving clockwise, so record the lower number, that is 1. And then for the next dial, it's between 4 and four, uh, 5. Moving counterclockwise, so the reading is 4. And dial E is between 2 and 3 moving clockwise, so we will record it as 2. So we have now 2, 4, 1, 2, 8. And then we can write the unit, kilowatt hour. So, yan yung way on how you can read and write your water, uh, electric meter consumption. Let us answer learning task 1. So, number one, ano kaya ang reading natin dito? If you look at your last uh, dial A, I mean, yung last dial from left to right, it's between 3 and 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang reading nito ay 3. Okay? And if you look at the next dial, dial B, it's between 0 and 9. Since ang direction ay counterclockwise, okay, pag ganun, so ang reading nito ngayon ay 9. And then next we have dial C is between 8 and 9. Therefore, our reading here is 8. And then next dial, dial D is exactly at 0. So therefore, write 0 while dial E is exactly at this number 2. So, therefore, we have this 20893 kilowatt hour. So, ito, dito, sa blankong ito, okay, dito, ang sagot, ito, yung pagkakasunod-sunod na 20893. So, eto na siya. Okay? For numbers 3 and 4, draw the dials. Ang reading ay 21511 kilowatt hours. So, ngayon, unahin na natin dito. Umpisa natin yung dulo. 2. So, from the center, okay? Pwede natin i-exact sa 2. Exacto nyo sa 2. O di kaya lampas ng konti sa 2. Pwede rin. Because it's between 2 and 3. So, nasa sa inyo yun. Either exactly 2 or lampas sa 2. Pero wag lang dapat nasa 3. Okay? Next, we have 1. So, exactly sa 1 o kaya between 1 and 2. Pwede naman. Okay? So, eto ngayon. Yung ating uh, pointer. Next, we have 5. So, from the center. Dahil 5, exactly 5 dapat. 
Okay, mga bata, exactly 5, ha? O kaya, kung gusto nyo, it's between 5 and 6. So, nasa sa inyo yan. Okay, next, we have 1. So, again, from the center, pwedeng exactly 1 or pwedeng between 1 and 2. Pwede. And then, last, we have 1 again. So, from the center, pwedeng exactly 1 or between 1 and 2. Ayos? So, yun ang sagot sa ating number 3. Next, for number 4, we have 61338 kilowatt hour. So, from the center, ano ang gusto nyong gawin? Pwedeng between 6 and 7 or exactly 6. Nasa sa inyo yan. Discard nyo na. And then, from the center, our next reading I 1. So, it's between 1 and 2 or exactly 1. Nasa sa inyo. And then, 3, we have between 3 and 4 or exactly 3. So, wag lang magiging 4. Ano? And then, another 3. So, it's between 3 and 4 pa rin or exactly 3 pa rin. And last but not the least, edi, pwedeng exactly 8 or between 8 and 9. So, ganyan lang kasimple, mga bata, yung paggagawa ng uh, dials. Ano? Kung tayo ang pagagawin. So, kaya? Kaya. Reading water meters. Well, ang procedures ay almost the same with reading electric meters. Nagkaiba lang sila ay dun sa last part. Kasi this time, we are going to record the numbers from right to left. Unlike kanina dun sa electric meters, kung ano yung nasa kaliwa, yun na yung pagkakasunod-sunod pa kanan. Eto, ang una mo daw record na number ay yung nasa kanan pa kaliwa. So, tingnan natin. Okay, let's take a look at this sample. If you notice, dun sa dulong dial, ang reading, kagaya kanina, similar to electric meter, it's between 3 and 4. Tama? That's why, ang reading nitong dial na to is 3. Okay? And the next dial is between 5 and 6, so ang reading is 5. While the next dial is between 1 and 2, that's why the reading here is 1. And last dial is between what? Between 7 and 8 or exactly 8? So if it is exactly 8 based on the sample, nasa 8 na siya, so the reading is 8. Now, kung ito yung electric meter, ito na yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng reading. Tama? But since this is not an electric meter, kasi ito ay water meter, ang unang babasahin ay itong 3, pasunod ay itong 5, and then saka pa lang itong 1, and then last itong 8. Kaya naman, if you look at your figure here, ayun, nagkaroon ng 3, 5, 1, 8 cubic meter. Yun, ang pagkakaiba pa mga bata. Kanina, dun sa electric meter, ang unit of measure na ginamit ay kilowatt hour. Ngayon naman, dahil ito ay water meter, ang gagamitin naman nating unit ay itong cubic meter. Ayos? Ayos. Now, let us answer learning task 1. Ano kaya ang reading nito? Dahil for dials, ibig sabihin, water meter reading tayo. So, exactly siya saan? Sa 4. Kaya naman, we can read this dial as 4. Ito namang kasunod, pwede siya exactly siya sa 6. Tama? Okay? Then, for the next dial, it's between 6 and 7. Still, ang reading ay 6. And for the next dial, it's between 1 and 2. Kaya naman, ang reading niya ay 1. So, ngayon, ano ang magiging kasagutan natin? Since our last uh, dial here, ano, ay 4, ay di ang una natin isusulat ay 4, then followed by 6, and then another 6, and then lastly, 1. So, 1, ibig sabihin cubic meters. This, therefore, is the correct answer. Ayos? Okay. Next. 
number 5, we have 1195 cubic meter. So, ang unang reading ay 1. Kaya naman, dito sa dulo, do sa right, yun ang una natin gagawin. 1. So, again, pwedeng exactly 1, pwedeng between 1 and 2. Next, we have 1 again. So, from the center, exactly 1 or between 1 and 2. So, nasa sa inyo yan, ha? Discarte mga bata. Pwede naman, pareho namang tama. Then, we have 9. So, since it is 9 from the center, pwede siya exactly 9 or between 9 and 0. Okay? And then, the uh, last dial ay 5. So, exactly 5 or between 5 and 6. So, eto ngayon, mga bata, yung ating magiging kasagutan dito sa number 5, Learning Task 1.